height will determine my team. We will go position by position, but I can only take a player whose height matches the wheel spin. If there are no players available, I must take the closest. For example, if it was tight end and I got five foot six, I would have to get Houston Texans tight end John Weeks coming in at a whopping five foot ten. Let's hop in. Now the wheel ranges from five foot six to six foot ten. There is also a black Santa on the wheel. Black Santa exemplifies a jackpot. I could take any player of any height. Now, normally with these challenges, I start on offense. So today, let's start on defense. We'll start with our user middle linebacker. Although technically my strong safety could be too. A tall middle linebacker is really good. Spin. All right, gentlemen, our user middle linebacker. You have to be shitting me. You actually have to be shitting. I got five foot. Also, I hope you're all sticking to your New Year's resolutions. But just in case you aren't, this is your friendly reminder to take care of yourself. And the sponsor of today's video, Geology, will definitely help you do that. Geology is a 15-time award-winning skin, hair, and body care company. And I've worked with Geology for so long because they become a part of my everyday routine. And I'm hoping you guys can start as well. Their products are built around a handful of powerful, proven ingredients to keep you looking amazing. Let me show you the routine. So they've got the everyday face wash, nothing complicated. Complicated. Every morning, I use this to wash my face. Then I put on the moisturizing morning cream. Keeping your face moisturized is super important. When it's dry, it cracks. That's when you get acne. And then at night, everyday face wash again. This time, I'll use the night cream. And the secret weapon, Geology's eye cream. It helps fight the puffiness under your eyes that make you look tired, even if you're not. My personal favorite. And that's not all. They've even got hair care with Geology's co-wash. It cleanses and nourishes the scalp, but it's not as damaging as shampoos and conditioners you might be used to use it. And they've even got body washes too, so your entire routine can be geology. And right now, for a limited time, they're hooking you guys up with an absolutely insane offer. If you use my code MMG70, geology will give you an additional 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set. They'll also give you an additional bonus offer on one of their brand new skin, hair, or body products. Don't miss out as these deals won't last long. It's code MMG70, and there's a link in the top of the description. And enjoy the rest of the video. For the record, there is only one player in the entire league who's actually five foot six, and it's pro Rocket League player Boston Scott. Also, the man who owns the New York Giants' entire franchise. Five foot six is. Are you shitting me? Now, there's definitely not a five foot six middle linebacker. I do have good news, though. The absolute shortest middle linebacker in the league is tied between a few guys, but all at five foot ten. Certainly not optimal, but I do have some good options. There's London Fletcher, Sam Mills, Nick Bolton. Well, I'm kind of leaning towards. I like Nick Bolton. Devin Bush is a stud too. I got kind of lucky there. Honestly, there could have been like an out of position Boston Scott five foot six middle linebacker. Would have been a completely unusable card. There's one Nick Bolton on the auction house. 92 overall Nick Bolton. Wait a minute. I'm wrong. Nick Bolton's five foot 11. Looks like my only option is London Fletcher. Apologies, gentlemen. I almost just MM scammed you. All right. 92 overall team diamonds. London Fletcher at five foot 10. 245 pounds. He gets one AP lurker. I can't complain that much. Spin next. Let's go with a right outside linebacker. My linebackers as of right now are short. Ooh, I'm gonna get a big boy. A six foot eight right outside linebacker? Does such an outside linebacker exist? The tallest right outside linebacker in the game is Randy Gregory, coming in at six foot six. Honestly, though, like another really solid option. I was worried I was gonna get like screwed on a lot of positions in their overalls, but so far, I mean, two wheel spins in. Randy Gregory is good. Six foot six, 89 speed, 93 finesse. Bet. Let's move on to left outside linebacker. I think the optimal height here, ooh, I might black Santa it. No, 5'11". 5'11", I don't even think is that bad. It is bad, but I feel like the optimal height for an outside linebacker is probably 6'3 or 6'4". So that's probably where all the best players are. But a 5'11 left outside linebacker? I can live with this. The shortest left outside linebacker available is six foot tall Jalen Reeves Mabin. I'm surprised that there aren't any shorter options. The only shorter was Quincy Williams at 5'11". Was not on the auction house. Jalen Reeves Mabin. All right. Next up, we're doing strong safety. I get the shortest middle linebacker, so I would love a 6'3 or 6'4 strong safety to use her. Come on, baby. Strong safety coming in. I hate every piece of this stupid video. Five foot six. Who's the shortest strong safety in the game? I don't even want to know. The shortest strong safety. Bro, how are you a strong safety in the league? This is so crazy to me. LaMarcus Joyner is five foot eight. 
And we had so much potential to get so many good players. Saved by the bell, there are no LaMarcus Joyner 87s on the auction house. So I actually will get to go Tyran Matthew, but that is hardly better because Tyran Matthew is five foot nine. Tyron Matthew, at the very least, does have a 92 overall. This card is technically a free safety, but he should be listed as a strong safety, I think. Either way, I'm going to do this since it's the absolute shortest option I have. 92 overall, Tyron Matthew. Now we're going to spin for our actual free safety. Please give me some height, dude. Why are we living in the midget range, bro? Oh, Kyler Murray took over the wheel. Hey, could I get a two? I just got five foot nine again. It might as well be Tyran Matthew at my free safety. This is not bad at all. I was worried about it. And yeah, I'm going to be sad, you know, if somebody's got Donald Parham, they're definitely going to dunk their balls right in my mouth. But guess what? The former Detroit Lion coming in at a hefty five foot nine, eight pounds heavier than Tyran Matthew. None other than Quandre Diggs, who had an awesome season. Quandre Diggs, baby. Corner... Number one is going to be tall. Yes. Oh my God, that might be Carmichael. Six, seven. So I can go the closest, right? I don't know if there's an exactly six foot seven corner. The absolute closest to six foot seven is one of the best corners in the game. Everybody and their mother uses this Carmichael. And guess what? I have never used this Harold Carmichael. I have never gotten a chance to use it. I never got him in Wheel of Mutt. I've never made a video that he was included in before. So actually getting to use this is so sick. All right, that takes us to corner number two. I'm actually so happy to use a Carmichael for the first time. I would bitch. I would bitch about five foot nine, but I'll... Ooh, ooh, five foot eight's not very good either. I do want to cry about that, but there are a lot of very good short corners, like just in the league in general. So I feel like I'm still going to get a really good player here. Looks like I spoke too soon. If it was five foot nine, I would have some amazing options like Mike Hilton, for example. But five foot eight knocks me into a territory where there are only three corners in the entire league that are five foot eight. That's Miles Bryant, Marcus Jones, and Amick Robertson. Marcus Jones is an 87 overall he's a five foot eight corner he has 67 pursuit this sucks gigantic balls this is horrible dude i've only gotten five foot eight and six foot eight how about like a six foot three can we just be standard no i'm gonna get six foot eight again this is rigged although it's rigged in a good way because i do like my options here so we already got carmichael right who is the tallest option but you know who's next closest in height you might be saying to yourself oh the mike evans corner you're right he is six foot five but there's another corner who's six foot five one of my favorite players of all time megatron i i just want to say right out the gates though ea pisses me off so bad Tell me why a top five receiver of all time, Calvin Johnson, has a higher overall corner card than a wide receiver. Like, I know it's ultimate team and we dick around, but like, what are you doing? What is this? I haven't opened up 2K yet, but is 2K doing this shenanigans? Like, does Michael Jordan only have a center card and that's the only good Michael Jordan? Because that shit would be stupid. It's hard to complain when you get a 95 overall Calvin Johnson corner. I have the two biggest corners in the game and I have the shortest middle linebacker. This is so weird. But I've got a 6'5", 94 speed and a 6'8", 94 speed corner. I'm really excited to use them. I've never... Never got a chance to do it, so this should be fun. Now, why don't we take care of our defensive line? Let's do a D-tackle. Right here, almost got Black Santa. 5'10". I feel like D-tackles could be pretty short. I feel like a left and right ends are going to be tall, but I feel like a D-tackle could be short. Obviously, you got dudes like DeForest Buckner, like 6'7". But... So, the shortest D-tackles in the league are 6 foot. Looks like Ty McGill is six foot. I had him on a recent video. Look at Ty McGill, bro, or T.Y. McGill. I'm so sorry to the three T.Y. McGill fans out there if I'm mispronouncing his name, but the shortest D tackle in the league is 90 overall. T.Y. McGill coming in at six foot, 299. 299, really? I think he just didn't want to say he was 300 pounds. He just didn't want to put the three there. Nobody's 299. Come on, man. Hey, you know what they say, though? 280 or she ain't a lady. You know, I want a little something to grab onto. Apologies, guys. It was too much for Madden server for me to, to purchase the goat that booted to the menu let's move on to left end and we might finally get an average height no 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 sit 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 this is bad this is really bad i don't even think such a player exists this is so weird i have not gotten anywhere in the six foot to six foot even six range at all bro bro are you serious dude please just don't even be on the auction house then i don't have to buy you bro i'm so sorry i don't want to be disrespectful who is this? Does anybody know who this is? Where'd you go to college? Are you even a D-end? Who is this? Forrest Merrill from Arkansas State is apparently a left end with 55. You're not a left end. You're a D-tackle. There's no way this guy's a left end. He's six foot three, 22. You this is the shortest left end in the NFL. I hate this video. Ah, oh, baby. Come on, baby. This is for a right end right here. 
Yes. We're gonna get two tall Jones. Two tall Jones, a monster. Six foot seven might actually give us more options than just two tall Jones as well. Although I think technically two tall Jones is a left end. So I would love to go Hutchinson, but honestly, Anthony Nelson is taller. And I apologize, Buccaneers fans. I don't know much about Anthony Nelson. But he's six foot seven. He's got 90 speed. This is a big one. I'm so glad we got him. We've been in some trouble. Beautiful. That was our last defensive player. Let's take a little breather here. Set up our defense. Set up our abilities. Then we'll work on offense. Grab a kicker. We're ready to go. Fence subbed in. We're an 89 overall at the moment. I don't even know what to say about this defense. My secondary is actually kind of really good. Marcus Jones is a huge liability. And my safeties aren't going to get mossed on. That's true. But Quandre Dix is good. Harold Carmichael and Calvin Johnson are amazing. Tyran, we'll, we'll have to see, I suppose. My linebackers are interesting, too. Randy Gregory could be a good edge threat. Jalen Reeves may not know much of anything about, and London Fletcher will get Lurker, so we can try that. And Anthony Nelson should get home. So my right side pass rush is actually really good with Anthony Nelson and Randy Gregory, uh, Forrest Merrill, and Reeves Mabin. Not exactly Lawrence Taylor and Reggie White, but they'll have to do. All right, so here's what my defense looks like. Carmichael with shut down tip drill and deep out zone KO. Megatron with shut down pick artist and deep out zone KO. Anthony Nelson with unpredictable edge threat unstoppable force. Randy Andy Gregory with edge threat enforcer double or nothing and London Fletcher with lurker. I like it. This is weird, but I like it. All right, let's work on offense. Offensively, I usually start with O-line, but let's start with the quarterback this time instead. And I think I'm pretty much good wherever here. There are very short quarterbacks in the league who are great, like Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson. At least in Madden, okay, I want to hear your opinion. And there's also super tall guys like Justin Herbert, so I should be good here. Spin, all right, our quarterback it's gonna come in at six wow now i'm gonna get the average heights but you know what this is pretty good it's funny that i just said six four is an average height i'm speaking in nfl caliber please don't feel offended if you are under six foot four just know that if you're under six foot four you're actually a midget and um i hope you seek help all right six foot four quarterback the absolute tallest quarterback is joe flacco at six foot six tied with justin herbert who's six foot four the goat tom brady is six foot four. I could get the scramble Tom Brady to pair with that Carmichael. They came out as like a pair, basically. Joe Burrow is six foot four. As I'm recording this, the Bengals are still in the playoffs, and I would be excited to see them go to the Super Bowl. Although Eli Apple makes me think maybe I don't want that. Regardless, Joe Burrow's best card being a 93 is a crime. Hopefully, he gets a new one for the playoffs. But there still is this nice 93 Joe Burrow and those dope unis with the LSU patch on. He's still 93 overall, so he's super good he gets hot route master and fearless two great abilities so this is our quarterback six foot four joe burrow i love it next we're gonna do halfback and just like the quarterback position there are actually really good tall and very short halfbacks i don't know how tall derrick henry is but he's got to be over six foot two and then like boston scott is literally five foot six and this might be the perfect height to get yes six foot's got to be like a prime halfback height in fact oh my god his quad father six foot He's the best halfback in the game. It's not even close. Oh, he's six foot. The quad father is six. Oh my God, this changes everything. Oh my God. Literally the best halfback in the game. I have multiple videos on my channel of this dude because he's so good. Uh, if you've never seen it, you're, yeah, get ready. Get ready. AJ Dillon, the quad father, is six foot, 247. Beast, dude. Spin next up, we're gonna do fullback. And I don't know, there's a lot of heights. Dude, if I get 6'3, I'm actually gonna smooch someone on the lips because that would be Zonka. Oh my god. So I got all my shit luck on defense because this is insane. Let's go. Zonka. The Zonklers, baby. All right. 92 Larry Zonka is 650,000 coins. Why? How tall is the Nigerian nightmare? Dude, if 92 Zonka is the most expensive player I buy, I'm going to be really sad. Oh, wait a minute. This Zonka is a halfback, not a fullback. I can't do this anyway. Shit. I was wondering why that wasn't popping up. All right. Well, there is another very good six foot three fullback. And that's Patrick Ricard. 6'3", 300 pounds. That could be a D tackle. All right. Our backfield is secured and it's damn good. Spin. Let's do a tight end next. This is a big one. The wheel of height is spinning. We're going to get a tall tight end. Huge. Huge. Six foot five is going to be a lot of tight ends too. Yeah, that's almost most tight ends are probably in that range. Travis Kelsey, I think like six foot four. I feel like this Mark Andrews gets no love. I did just get a Raven with Patrick Ricard, but Mark Andrews, 92 overall. Let's see how he plays. I want to use this. Then next up will be our wide receiver one. 
Would like some height here too, but oh, I'm gonna get five foot six. Are you kidding me? Or am I gonna get six foot ten? I don't think there is a five foot six wide receiver, but there's definitely gonna be a five seven wide receiver who gets me in a lot of trouble here. Oh no, there is a five six. It's Deontay Harty. He's the shortest play. Oh no. Deontay Harty, the absolute shortest wide receiver in the league at five foot six. He's so bad. I'm gonna try and get him a tutty though. I'm gonna try and get him a tutty. Luckily, we have wide receiver two and wide receiver three to go. Wide receiver two is gonna be so much taller at six foot is there a six foot there may actually be a six foot seven wide receiver i know there's a six foot eight wide receiver and that's carmichael colin johnson is six six and carmichael himself is six foot eight looks like i'm gonna have two carmichaels on the squad oh that's an actual snipe holy shit well, that's dirt cheap for him let's go baby we got a little snipe too for 40k we got harold carmichael final wide receiver so we've got the absolute shortest the absolute tallest and a six foot six or six foot five wide receiver dude there's so many good options. Ooh, six foot five is amazing. I could go Plaxico. I could go Mike Evans. You know what? If I'm going to have Megatron and Carmichael on defense, and I now have an option to have them both on offense too, I'm actually going to do it. 94 overall wide receiver, Calvin Johnson. Six foot five, 236 on both sides of the ball. All that leaves is the offensive line. Our left tackle. You know what's funny? Left tackles are usually really tall. So six foot three sounds good. I don't think it's as good as I'm imagining though. The absolute shortest left tackle in the league is six foot two. Jamari Salier, 92 overall, six foot three, number 68. This guy, 92 overall left tackle. Yes, MM casual. Go ahead, get it out of your system. All right, six foot three. Yo, but guards and centers. Six foot three is a great height. No, no, no. I know what this is going to force me to get now. Oh my God. For some stupid reason, they made a Tyree kill left guard. The shortest actual left guard in the league is Aaron Brewer at six foot one. However, there's a five foot nine left guard in this game, which I'm now forced to get. Left guard Tyree kill has 84 strength, 88 pass block. He's got 90 pass. What the fuck is this guard? Five foot nine, 185 left guard. This guard has me just so dog shit. Left guard Tyree kill. Let's go. All right, that takes us to center. Our center. Oh, can I please? Dude, how have I not gotten Black Santa yet? So five foot ten center is unlikely. Unless there's another out of position center that I'm forgetting about. Nick Harris, a center for the Browns, is six foot one. Oh my god, and he's the shortest. Dude, who? Who? Nick Harris is not on the auction house. The next would be Daniel. Munyer. Daniel, I'm hoping you're not on the auction house either. Daniel Munyer is on the auction house. Daniel Munyer. Center for the Tennessee Titans. 56 awareness. Six foot one, 305. He's got 77 run block power, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Munyer. Next up is right guard. We need a monster. Because I don't I do not like the left side of my line right now. Six foot eight is huge for this position. I, it's not gonna exist, so we're gonna have to we're gonna be the tallest. I take it back, ladies and gentlemen. It does exist. 70 overall. Luke Tenuta decided that he wanted to be six foot eight. How are you a guard? Are you a right guard? You're six foot eight. You're a tackle. You're not a right guard. You can't pull block at that height. Whatever. All right, gentlemen, the final player is a right tackle who will come in at jackpot height. At jackpot height. At jackpot height. I. Oh, we're so close. There's not gonna be a. There's not gonna be a six foot right tackle. I'm gonna get some bozo again. Kelvin Beecham is six foot three. I have to go with Kelvin. Dude, my line sucks. Dude, my backfield is goaded. My line sucks. Kelvin Beecham, the only six foot three right tackle in the entire league. Damn. All right, I shouldn't complain yet. Let's go build our offense and see what this looks like. Offense is an 86. Defense is an 89. Let's set some abilities. All right, here's what we're doing on offense. The quad father gets freight train. Duh. Persistent tank and bruiser. Calvin Johnson with route tech and deep out elite. Burrow with hot route master. And Mark Andrews with deep out elite and double me. Now, offense looks bad. I'm not even going to lie. This offensive line is atrocious. Like, actually horrible. My wide receivers are semi-okay. My hatback is God himself. And my tight end is good. I think... Hot Rail Master's gonna let me put nice routes on everybody. And AJ Dillon really can carry an entire team, even with a battle line, I'm thinking. So defense plus quad father, I'm hoping is a W. I would spin height for kicker and punter, but I'm gonna pull rank here. I'm putting in the Scottish Hammer because you can't stop me. He's the GOAT. I'm not even gonna try and land on his height. He's just the GOAT. All right, gentlemen, we're an 88 overall. 
Not the best, but I think this team can win a ball game here. The Wheel of Heights blessed me in some places and absolutely bent me over in others. Let's see what this team can do. <laughs> Top three going against Champ, Julius Peppers, and Sean Taylor. But we do have the quad father, Carmichael, and Megatron. I don't, I don't like our odds. I don't like our odds at all. All right, we sent some heat. It got there. Oh, no, I missed. Big hit. Megatron. Megatron corner. Lays him out. It's third and 12. I just got to cover the middle. I've got it. I've got it all covered. Oh, no, I don't. Great play. Megatron lays him out again, but he converts on third and 12. I'm going to try and send heat once again. Let's see if we can get to the QB. Get there, boys. Get there, boys. Quandre. Hey, hey. Megatron. Spin back. Oh, he's up. He was still up. Oh, my God. Let's go. I don't even know tip drill on him. He just did that. All right, well, we got the quad father. I may have a 70 overall right side of my line. I just don't think that's going to stop the quad father. But you know what? If I ran that bad, that might have been a touchdown. We'll go play action here. I want to hit quad father out of the backfield. Yup. Oh, no. Yikes. If anybody, literally nobody, he flies up the middle because we can't block. I do have a really good punter, but I'm going for this. Mark Andrews. How did that get broken up? Whatever. It was a stupid decision. I should have punted. Play action. I'm there with Quadre! <laughs> Quadre digs! Bailed by your team. This guy sucks. But it's going to be really difficult for me to score still. Because he's just going to run man coverage. And I got to figure out how to stop it. Just missed a wide open pass. And he DC'd. All right. And with his DC, I'm now in the playoffs. Which sucks, actually. <laughs> I had to go play my first game in the playoffs with this bomb offense. Whatever. Hey, you guys are getting a playoff game here. So, you're welcome. He's got big trust. Jalen Waddle. You know, his team's not as good as the other guy. That's good news. All right, defense. Let's see. A London Fletcher in the middle. He is going to hand it off. He's going to get lit up by London Fletcher. Let's go. Play action. As we imagined, he throws underneath the Tomlinson. I need a big hit. Hey, Tomlinson's got two big hit hit sticks on him now. Tomlinson's too tired already. Oh, it's a read option. Nice play, but he got rocked by Tyrant Matthew. He could have fumbled right there. Fourth and two. Get there! Oh. oh, and we missed. Nice tackle, though. I'm going to put a QB spy on Anthony Nelson. Kind of expect him to do that same RPO. Ooh, RPO pass. That was a nice one. Gets rocked again. That's four hit sticks on this drive. Second and five. Another read option for Lamar. He's not going anywhere. Quandre Diggs is a stud. He's got that corner out. I don't know about that pass. Oh, Megatron on Megatron. He does complete it. I didn't think he was going to get that. I think this is a read option once again. Oh, he does hand off Tomlinson. He goes down. This is a long drive. Guy's about to use the entire first quarter on his opening drive. Goes with the handout, Tomlinson. We're there! It's McGill! He has officially used the entire first quarter on his first drive. It's a hell of a drive, though, and I like his offense, you know? If your name's Clutch God, you better be clutch in a situation like this. He's going to get a delay game, which is actually lit. That's huge. That's actually massive for us. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch a 3-3 Cub here. Quandre! Why the why is Quandre Diggs a, an actual god? All that four minute, three second drive does not capitalize. We're gonna go stretch left. We're gonna cut it back up the middle. And the quad father! Yup. If I can get it off to Andrews and get up the field. Even if my blockers aren't the best, I gotta believe in him. He takes some bad angles. An excellent block. And you know the first guy I meet's getting ran over. He's he's so late. He's on Bruce serving. He's just late. Yeet! Yeet! No way I got tackled there. Ah, did I just say yeet? Somebody put me out of my misery, bro. Did I just say yeet out loud? I had A. I missed it. So I'll take the check down. I don't feel like a check down guy when I throw to quad father because he's that good. It's like, it's the right call every time. Hand off to the boy. He runs one over. Takes it to the two. I only did that. Run back that far to burn a little bit of clock here. I'm on the two. I'm going to go for this. He's got to do a 99-yard drive in a minute if I can't get this. The points would be nice, but I believe in the quad father. The handoff. And he stuffs it. Nice defense. He's going short. Oh, back across. Nice play. He sits down to not get lit up. First and 10. Another play action. He hits Tomlinson. He dives forward. See, so he can't use his run plays. Waddle is too fast. That's the first time Quandre Diggs 
has made a bad play. He just wanted to pull a little more clock off there. That was a nice play. Beauty. Amari Cooper. Oh, he's on his feet. Get down, Bozo. Time out. I think he's in the same defense. Shockingly. Oh, no, that's man. F I knew it. As soon as that ball went up, I was going to get tip drilled. Tyree kill. Guard. Oh, no, he missed his tackle. I got to make a dive. Dude, that is so unlucky. Oh, that is the worst. Tyree kill guard had him and missed the tackle. I get ball at half, but this is going to be a tough one to win. Got to score quick. Got to get the ball back. I'm just going to go AJ Dillon. He continues to be open. We know how long he can take on a drive. I'm just going to hand this off. This is an easy handoff. Wow. Look at that. So much room for him. Ooh, he's there and he's tall. Carmichael. Beautiful. I got to score with like two minutes in the third. I'm just scared of him chewing the clock. He's going to let the same thing be open. All right. Let's do it again. Burrow's going to take off up the middle. <laughs> Dive over top. First and goal. We got to put one in here, boys. Got to put one in here. Megatron. Megatron clear. He's right there. Horrible ball. I got good accuracy, not perfect accuracy, and that's the difference. Oh, two pick sixes for Burrow. I wonder if he has under pressure, or if that was just a really bad ball. Although it's not, it's not a pick six, actually. I'm spoiled. I have Lamar and Wheel of Mutt, and I make that throw. Damn. Well, this would be difficult to stop. Yeah, especially with the QB sneak. Damn, things are not going my way today. I'm also not playing very well. Twice in the red zone, dude. All right, well, that's going to be a broken tackle. Ooh, and he gets me with the suplex. Ooh, Mark Andrews over the middle. Now that's perfect accuracy. Hell of a ball. I don't know why I got only good accuracy on that one. I'm going to try and stretch this again. Hey, nice blocks once again. Going to get the stiff arm into... <laughs> he stiff armed him as a lead blocker. Once again, I have a good offense getting down the field. It's... My execution that's been piss poor. There's a dot, though. Dude, it's so weird. Now he's throwing perfect. I'm going to go up top. Megatron! Let's about anybody and it would have been open dude what why would you go and he could have just ran at todd heat but he ran at the blocker ah oh, whatever sometimes it just doesn't go your way today is not my day hey would you look at that wow i was destined to get a kicker turn touchdown though i can't say things aren't going my way now 14 to 28 gotta go for the onside 14 to 28 if i hadn't gifted him those ints such a different game but i did counter tray again yep it's a pretty cool play Ooh, got him a fumble pick it up veya is fat and slow but he's in the end zone <laughs> i saved both my timeouts if i get the outside i can win this game <laughs> although if i just don't play like an idiot the whole game i just win by a lot so you know Megatron with a big pickup right there. 19 seconds on the clock. He could kneel it out. It wouldn't matter what I did here. I would expect him to kneel it out after that. I would be scared. Hey, giant hit from Fletch. I didn't cough it up though. He's going to kneel, I assume. Oh my God. He didn't even get the slide off. He could have fumbled again. Hey, GG to my opponent. I played like an idiot. I'm sorry, boys. It was a fucking game there at the end, though. <laughs> the wild card. We fall. The height squad.
Those turnovers, man, bro. Those interceptions. That return at the end of half was so brutal. So brutal. Quadfather, 9 for 73, though. Great game from him. All right, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what else you want to see. There's about a million ways I could build a team. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.